Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on the Zweib Roman server. This is your host speaking, the Rosnedai, and today we will be building a castle. But first, let me show you what I've done with the storage room down here, uh, which we talked about in the previous episode. I just built... Oh, I got stuck. Uh, I just built the uh, sorting system here to sort out the melons first so they go in the first uh, row of chests and then the pumpkins go around and fill the other chests down there and here I remembered I could use the mm, what is it called the water stream technique you could say you could call it and that's what I used instead of the the hoppers I intended to use at first so it saved me a bit of iron and a bit of time uh, on caving down here I started to clear out an area for future expansions as you can see but that's for some other episode yeah so today I want to build the battlements and the uh, stairway uh, in the castle and I'll go and prepare myself a bit gather up some stuff some blocks and whatnot and then I'll see you shortly down at the castle to begin with the uh, building of the battlements and the uh, stair staircase inside down there. So let me just prepare a bit and I'll see you in a moment. Okay guys, so for this build I'm gonna do a stop motion time lapse. I'm going to try to do it and I hope you like it. So we'll just go straight into it right now. Brace yourselves.
Man, that took a long time. I didn't expect it to, to take so long. And I could, could have done it in multiple ways. But I chose to do the stop motion. And generally speaking, I really liked how it turned out. And basically throughout the filming of it, taking the pictures, it snowed a lot and I messed up a big amount of uh, snow and so I decided to build this snowman here. I hope you like him. Uh, maybe we could give him a name. You could post in the comments your suggestions and I already, already had the design for the battlements so it w really went smoothly uh, the building and stuff I could have done it uh, by myself doing the progress updates in an hour or two but I decided to do the stop motion because I thought it would look more interesting and be more entertaining for you guys and the main idea here is that uh, soldiers should shoot down upon the enemy from the battlements and they have some protection from the enemy who is shooting at them from down there so yeah uh, I wanted to introduce you to this fellow right here and his name is Balthazar or Balthazar uh, but they call him Bob he became my friend during the filming of this and I really like the guy he's really funny look at him yeah Balthazar what what did I say <laughs> okay so we will be doing something with him but right now I want to talk to you guys what do you think tell me please what do you think about this I see this uh, inconsistency here and we'll uh, get getting to that uh, real fast but I wanted to move the tower also so you can probably see during the stop motion uh, me moving that tower a few blocks uh, in that direction because I want to build a staircase around it so you could get uh, uh, get to the top of it from down here so I needed it to be a little more to that side you can see the old uh, base of the tower down there and if you can imagine me doing this thing this stop motion I will show you real quick how I did it all it took me about uh, 600 pictures or uh, or screenshots uh, to do this and it took me about a week of work and it all messed up to around two minutes and yeah this is my my the my main uh, main path I took while filming this so I would get up here to this platform and do this and then center my image you can see Bob down there and take a screenshot and imagine doing that about 600 times or so <laughs> Uh, a little bit tedious but I really really like how it turned out and I hope you guys uh, will 
give me some fe feedback on it uh, just tell me if you liked it because I want to do such big pro uh, such big projects but I want to do some more stop motion in the future so if you like it it would be nice to show your support hello bunny what are you doing down here yeah okay so I finished uh, the item elevator for this thing this farm sugarcane farm I built uh, before I started uh, doing the YouTubes but I finished it uh, just recently or while I was doing the castle when I took a break I went down here and finished this thing uh, I can show you there is this is all collected during my filming of the castle so and here we get the glass and you may be wondering how how come we get that glass when it fell down here and you can see down here this is a simple diagonal design uh, of sugarcane farming you just got the clock down here uh, eight o'clock and it uh, goes into this and this is uh, just to make a short pulse and it goes up the uh, redstone torch pillar here and it triggers all the pistons and the sugar cane falls down and goes into these hoppers here and if if there is anything in those hoppers they will go let me see I want to show you they go into this dropper or dispenser right here and I will simulate uh, the items with this chicken right here and you can see there's just a simple clock that is spitting them out here I'm picking them up okay it is spitting them up and into the stream of uh, packed ice so they go real fast and it's all done but I will put some more just to show you the elevator here then they travel around and go into the elevator and I really like like this uh, elevator thing I don't know really who invented it but I really liked it so I built it for this sugarcane farm down here and it again goes into the water stream and goes into the chests here yeah we don't have anything here I want to build here I want to build uh, over overflow protection but uh, only the two chests are full right now so we'll get to that when at least half of them fill up and I don't have an exit <laughs> down here really so let me just punch some wood here and then I'll see you in a bit and what do we have here oh nice name tag and two saddles uh, okay this is from our friend on the server and he says thanks for the gifts for the gifts I gave him in the previous episode so yeah that's real nice of him let's pick this up and we'll put it to good use my friend don't you worry uh, we could go and name our horse because he doesn't have a name yet so if I go up here I have a little storage and smelting area and what should we call him <laughs> Uh, 
he's real fa he is real fast right so what should we call him hmm No, 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 no. I, I think I know the name that would suit him. Yeah. His name will be Greenberg. And why? I don't know. I just invented that. I came up with that name right now. And we'll call him that. Because... He looks like a Greenberg to me. Doesn't he look like a Greenberg to you? Let's go up to him and name the guy. Hello friend. Dear friend of mine. You are now called Greenberg. And let's celebrate by running around a bit. And when we ran a bit, we just put him in his hole, right in here, so he can rest and enjoy his new name. Okay, for the next bit, I wanted to do something uh, with the Bob down there, because Bob was bullied around a lot by his fellow chicken kind so and he wanted revenge so I had to chain him up to this post right here because he he has some anger issues and he wanted to kill all his fellow chickens so I want to make him a chicken smeltery system but I want to build it with a twist and what twist you will see shortly and here it is guys I devised a little chicken smeltery system here there is nothing in there right now we will need to uh, spruce this up a little bit better in the next episode but I'll, for now I will just show you how it works and how I imagine it going uh, right here you get a clock and it has about a stack and a half of items in there uh, that controls the times when it uh, changes state between this place and this place here you got a standard dispenser with the lava bucket uh, the lava which will cook the chicken but you got a problem here because uh, the dispenser that will shoot out the eggs is up there so you got to sink up the lava and the chickens which will slowly drift down and not into the lava but on this half slab and because they are little, they will not be touched by lava. But when they grow up, they get into the lava and get cooked. Basically the same principle the uh, standard chicken cooker works, but with the twist where the chickens fly. And if you wonders, wondered if chickens could fly, here is the, I guess, the uh, proof then they can fly and here uh, go goes the your seed chickens which will poop up poop out the eggs for the dispenser down there to shoot out and the dispenser down here it, it has the same uh, comparator clock I showed you before in the uh, sugarcane farm but it gets locked with this uh, torch tower uh, redstone torch tower here you can see it just about see it the torches but they are there believe me okay and so now it is locked and it can't shoot the items out let's put 
levers in there it can shoot out you see so you switch between the two states and when the lava is on it can shoot out and when the lava is off it shoots out TX and that's about it that's the, the main principle how this works and this should do it for now we done a lot for in this episode uh, I will be wrapping up this one here I hope you liked it and if you did please leave a like and if you really really liked it please subscribe and that's it for me for this episode guys and yeah I hope to see you in the next one goodbye